to talk to us about the impact of this uh, of this um, case the verdict that has come out we are joined by the management at mone ispat we got mr ajay bhat group cfo at mone ispat uh, joining us uh, from delhi uh, mr bhat thank you so much for being with us on ndtv profit uh, i think you have five coal blocks um, uh, what will be the impact on mone ispat when it comes to uh, your coal blocks uh, how much was the output that uh, will go will go out of uh, your company's ownership after 6 months yeah we had actually three coal blocks uh, one of them uh, one of them uh, uh, was in raigarh which is a, which was which is operating coal block for the last about 10 years and uh, that coal block was actually supplying coal to our steel operations and uh, this that that it was it was giving about uh, 1 million tons of coal uh, per annum to the company uh, that is definitely going to be uh, severe to the operations of the company and uh, we will have an impact of around uh, roughly about 100 crores as on date you know on the bottom line from that coal block as well and there are two coal blocks uh, where we had uh, obtained all the clearances one is utkal coal block uh, we are awaiting the mining lease for the last two and a half years that is again in mim and that has also gone and uh, another coal block called as mandakini coal block that was in jv with two other partners mm -hmm. that was to feed our uh, coal requirements for our power company again we had obtained all the clearances acquired the land we were waiting just for the mining lease mm -hmm. and uh, that coal block has also gone so in all about three coal blocks which were up uh, up for uh, mining one of them already operating and the two about to start operations so from that point of view it is a setback i mean uh, our capital resource from these three coal blocks would have been to the tune up about uh, 10 million tons put together but uh, from the from the mine we were already in operation we have lost about 1 million tons of coal right uh, then what happens to your merchant power plant in angul uh, you've already signed the ppas so now there is no assurance of this uh, coal block which is the mandakini coal block uh, what is the plan what is the backup plan Well, we are awaiting. What we had done is uh, we had applied for coal linkages to the government. Uh, you know that was only to uh, take care of any delays for development of this mine. And uh, we believe that uh, the government is moving ahead with some coal linkages to the companies to whom these coal blocks have been cancelled. So let us wait for next three months. We our power plant is going to come into operation next year. So we have about one year, and uh, within next three to six months, we expect some. Uh, a positive decision uh, from the government to give linkages or to put these mines for rebidding so we are awaiting the outcome of what is going to happen now the ball is in the court of the government and we we hope that some resolution about the cancellation of the coal blocks would be given by the government over the next 6 months all right uh, mr bhat uh, you said out of the three two were ready for operation but one was operational one of your block was operational so the uh, supreme court has also given the next 6 months and uh, uh, you know there will be a fine a penalty in fact of 295 rupees per metric ton will you be now uh, continuing operation in the next 6 months or you are now just going to look at other options no for the time being in any case we will continue to mine for 6 months that is that has been permitted to all the companies which were operating the coal blocks so as far as the penalty is concerned yes you have to pay the penalty as per the current order so we are also getting it evaluated and studied uh, independently but that is a separate matter so technically the coal block is going to stay with us till march 2015 after which we will have to surrender it to coal and coal india limited and uh, now we are also hearing uh, from uh, the government sources that uh, there would be some reallocation or rebidding of these mines over the next few months so let's see how it happens uh, we will have to look for an alternative mine we will have to go to the government for a linkage we will have to look for an alternate alternative so that will be explored over the next 2 or 3 months today there is not much clarity where the alternative coal is going to come and how it is going to come and at what price is going to come so we are only speculating and we are just uh you know just speculating the price we will have to pay for any linkage and the loss to our bottom line which i mentioned you would be to the tune up about 100 crores right and uh, how much of the coal inventory do you have at this point in time and uh, what about the land where does that uh, th does that belong to the company or that also uh, goes to the government 
Well, first part of the inventory, you know, we don't have inventories of the coal. Generally, you take out the coal and supply it to the plant. So you have maybe four or five days inventories of the coal. So that is besides the point. Uh, well, you have raised a very valid, valid point. That is again our concern. What the land acquired by the company for all the mines will continue to belong to the company because these are the surface rights. The government gives us only the allocation of the coal blocks, the reserves. The reserves are going back to the government. The surface rights will continue, continue to remain with the company. Our only point is the investments made by us, particularly in the mine, which has been in operation for the last 10 years. This is, this is an underground mine and we have made huge investments in this mine. Because you, every year you develop this mine, you are creating tunnels, you are creating paths, you are doing so many things. You are putting a lot of capital expenditure on these mines. So there is no clarity what is going to happen to the investments we have made. So we will try to seek this clarity from the government over the, over, over, over the next couple of months as to whether there is any way out for us to recover this capital investment once these coal mines are surrendered to the government. But as of date, uh, the order does not talk about any capital investment the, uh, made by the companies and the order does not talk about what is going to happen to the surface area acquired by the companies. Right. So it is, a, it is the ownership of the land. We only assume, you know, somebody was acquiring the land, it has transferred to the company now and wherever this coal block go, the land will have to be transferred by us to the next LRT of the coal blocks. Right, uh, Mr. Bhatt, uh, you spoke about investments. What investments did you make? Um, I, I've read a figure of 5,000 crore. Is that right? How much debt do you have in the books? That, does this entire issue affect your debt serviceability? Well, you see, debt serviceability is an independent issue. Uh, whether coal block is there or coal block is not there, the debt has to be serviced and uh, we have about uh, 6,000 crores of debt on our balance sheet today and uh, so our EBITDA projections uh, are uh, quite sufficient to take care of our debt obligations over a period of time but there would be a loss of EBITDA to the extent of uh, the benefits that coal block was giving us but it's not uh, it, the concern is not on the pricing only the more concern would be on the availability of the coal so going forward Today we had assurance about the availability of the coal for our operations as we were planning it. But tomorrow, once this coal linkage is given, whether you have the coal to meet your uh, and to feed your operations in time would be a question to be seen because if, if coal is available only to the tune of 60 or 70 percent, that could be a loss of productivity. That is where the companies can have a lot of problems. The problems would not be on the pricing. The pricing we can manage. Might you, it, will, it will get readjusted in the industry over a period of time. The availability of the coal is going to be an important uh, consideration for coal miners. Right. right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Bhatt, for speaking with us at NDTV Profit and uh, giving us uh, your feedback on the impact of the cancellation of coal blocks on Monitor's path.